All right, welcome back to SOS. I'm Stas MBA, and today I always wanted to know what's inside one of these things. I got this in some sort of SHTF survival kit thing, and I've never unraveled one. You ever seen one of these? I've always wanted to know what's inside, so let's just take a look. See what's inside. Now, how in the heck do I open this thing? <laughs> so I look at this thing like, I don't know. All right, so let's just undo, undo this. Let's go ahead and take this off. Heck, I don't know how this comes apart. Do you? Does anybody? I mean, I'm looking to see if there's like an unravel point. That's that's what I was looking for. This looks like it goes inside here. So that's not the unravel point. So here, maybe that's it. Okay, so it's tugging there. Okay, here we go. Ah, what's this? All right, so this is, it pulls this out. Okay, so if you see one of these, that's how that works. Now, looks like I need to, all right, just like that. And I should be able to unravel the whole thing now. Let me just, let me burn this so it's smooth and doesn't get stuck on anything. Now, so I don't burn my fingers, just like that. All right. And this just goes around and around. It's like I should just be able to pull it here. There goes my lighter. See? Pretty easy. Now I can get the compass out of the way. There's my compass. I got a D-ring. And I got that little thing there. So I'm trying to account for every little piece. It's supposed to have quite a bit of paracord. I wasn't really going to measure it. Someone out there is going to be like, Hey man, how much paracord did you get there? And then, oh, I don't know, man. I'm going to have to measure it. At least when I'm done with this part, I just go around and round. And it should just come right out. Oh, they did not. Yes, they did. <laughs> Look at this. So I got to go like this. <laughs> Who wants to watch me unravel this thing? I will talk to you guys. So um, I just got home and I wanted to talk to you guys. I don't know how many of you are actually going to watch this boring video. But uh, I just got back with my son from the ER. Uh, he thought it would be cool to hang out with the kids on the playground and eat marbles. So uh, luckily, that's like the size of a nickel from the x-rays. But he has a marble that he has to pass. And they did not say give him laxatives. This is just stuff to... <laughs> this could happen to anybody. He's just warming me up, guys. You know, as a dad, a parent, the kid's just warming me up. Getting me ready for that next stage. You know, something more severe in life that I will be faced with, I'm sure. All right. You guys ready for this? So, for all of you out there that sent your thoughts and prayers, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough. You guys are awesome. The kind words, I really appreciate it. All right, so now you're left with this. And I'm not sure if there's something hidden in here. I don't think there is. Let me just, I can do this, like, pull that back. No, there's nothing hidden in there. Okay, so that's just a bracelet. So now I have a bracelet and a ton more of paracord. Now I have this little kit. All right. You gotta be smarter than the packaging. I just want to make sure that I don't just ruin this packaging because I do see some aluminum foil here. And just in case, you know, I don't want in a survival scenario. Let's throw this out here. Here you go. In a survival scenario, and you're stuck with something like this, okay? It's probably gonna have some small pieces in it. You're probably gonna drop them all over the ground. You're going to lose your mind. And uh so just you're going to have to, you ain't got nowhere to go. You're not, or possibly you're not in extreme hurry in certain situations. So just pace yourself and try not to destroy, uh, destroy the equipment inside or outside. All right. You might need every single thing you get. This piece of aluminum foil can be used for cooking, can be used for signaling. I'm thinking of so many different uses just by unraveling this. 
All right, so now we've got this apart. So now we've got a decent piece of aluminum foil, which is, isn't a bad idea to have. All right, see what else we have in here. We got a bag. We got a bag of equipment. I never knew all this stuff existed inside these things. All right, now I've got a plastic bag. Don't destroy the plastic bag. Once again, when you're in a survival scenario, try not to ruin this stuff. Even the little piece of tape. Notice how I very gently pulled that off. I might need that for a bandage. I stabbed myself accidentally with a knife one day, and you know, a piece of tape and or whatever could do some do some good. Now this is supposed to be it's a whistle for emergencies. Okay, so this is just an emergency whistle. Now, so make sure there's nothing inside of it. This little piece of paper could be fire tender. It's probably got some sort of signaling personal identification card. There we go. So you could use that for a fire tender and matches or whatever this is just a whistle all right so you got a whistle set that to the side and you've got some tender wicks these are great great tender wicks solid wax tender wicks you got what else these capsules are really cool most people put like prescription medication inside these things another piece of plastic you know that's another useful item like i said everything that you take apart in one of these is very important so you got a capsule for storing stuff me personally if i was going to rock a whistle like this i would go ahead and utilize that to put some uh, boat matches you know something like that inside all right you've got a surgical blade so you've got this is a razor knife basically so you could see in there the impression of a razor knife so you can see that it's a nice it's a surgical blade but it's it's basically a razor knife a couple of band-aids that's cool you've got a very small ferrule rod which is the, a really good size to have you can start many fires with it you've got over here bunches of little things Let's just kind of move that over here and here. All right, you've got clothespin. You've got fishing hooks, different size fishing hooks, decent fishing hooks. That's a pretty good, pretty good size. You could do some fishing snares. Some fishing snares are really easy to put together. With all this, the paracord, uh, the paracord and the fishing hooks would be about all you would need. And you could make some fishing snares and have yourself some food coming in over time. Um, <laughs> there goes some weights. All right, I don't know how many weights we got here. Just two, I think. Two small weights. This is a great little tool. You know, a lot of people underestimate the power of one of these. But this has so many flipping functions to this one little thing. Most people take them and go, oh, I got one of these things again. Oh, man. But they are very useful. All right. So you've got this, this, and this. This is all the items. Like I said, keep everything. If you're in a survival situation, this is all you have left. Plenty of fishing line. Plenty of fishing line. You have a survival saw. Commando saw, or what are you going to call it? you got another plastic bag. Uh, these are great. You could, uh, with something like this, you could just take these off and add the paracord to that as well. And, um, or you I mean you need to do, <laughs> you need to do some wet work. You just get behind somebody. I'm just kidding. All right. But so, <laughs> uh, in, in an event, you need to make a perfect circle. They are great saws. You just wrap like this around an item and you pull, as you pull back and forth, it'll make a nice even cut all the way around. So that's one of the benefits of having a saw like this. Uh, tearing apart a kit like this, I don't feel bad about tearing apart a kit like this to show you what's inside of it because just my wallet alone, uh, I don't have items like this. I probably have a lot of interesting stuff inside my wallet that's very compact. This is um, a little bit cheaper of a kit, but uh, when you want to, like I have fire tenders that are completely flat and laid out inside my wallet. And then I also have like, like a compass. Instead of having a compass like this inside my wallet, I actually have one of those hiker wallet. Uh, it's like a card. It's kind of like, uh, kind of like how you have these SD cards. It's got all these nice little information on the back of them. I have a card like that, that 
actually has a, a, a circular cutout, like for a compass, you would urinate on the on the card. I'm just kidding. You don't urinate. I, I like to mess with people. You spit. Or, or, or if you don't spit, you just find some water you put on. But what happens, there's this little balance thing in here that turns into a compass. And so you could have a modern day compass, but you just don't have it with you all the time. And it's just when you need it in an emergency situation. So over time, I have, you know, created a lot of interesting stuff. I have a saw like this inside my wallet. Uh, I keep rolled up. It doesn't have any of the metal components to this thing, but I do have these little tabs here, which I would just make shift something inside here in the place of these swivels. So I wouldn't, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But I wanted to share the insides of one of these to give you guys some ideas. And in the event you're in a survival situation, uh, you know, you could do some sort of survival paracord bracelet nothing wrong with that you could go with like um, like the survivor cord like I've said before I've made several necklaces and things on the channel a lot of folks love that stuff they love the compact uh, compact stuff this is some that I've cut off from a piece of that I'm, I, they they don't help me at all they they wouldn't even send me any free paracord at, because you know I, I talk about that that company a lot on the channel they wouldn't even send me any free paracord. Would you believe that? As much as I talk about people. All right. You'd think somebody get paid for that, right? <laughs> All right. So you've got some snare wire in here. There's some snare wire. And so you get that strand. You've got some fishing line in here. And you get some interesting fire cord. Some fire cords. You've got some wax cord as well. And you've got this interesting cord. You just break that apart just like that and you get all that I think this is the one this is your fire cord Let's just go ahead and light that real quick I think that's the one's the fire cord. there it is it's like a candle I'm not sure this one doesn't really there we go hot tamale there we go anyways interesting product not really that super cool or fancy but you know, you spend, you know, uh, probably another 5%, you know, than what you would pay for regular paracord to have some interesting stuff already installed in it. And it's one less thing you got to worry about. Or you could just uh, install that stuff yourself in another way without this, like wrap up some fishing line or something. Uh, but anyways, so you would have a knife. So you would have a knife. So you wouldn't need this. You could use this to saw or something, but you already have a saw. You could use this for chopping. You could turn this into an axe, I'm assuming, yeah. You could turn this into some type of chopping device. That's what I would do with it. Uh, split this into a piece of wood and use it for some sort of makeshift weapon. You could splice it in like this. That way you could kind of saw with it. But I would add a piece of wood to this so you're not jacking your hand up. You're already in a dangerous environment. Just this is all you have left. Um, uh, the other thing to keep in mind when you put something like this together yourself is you probably won't need stuff like this, like this whistle. That's huge. You won't need capsules like that unless you actually have something in it. And because this is really pointless, this would work great to carry your fishing tackle. So this would be a nice little fishing kit. Put all your gear inside this, and this would be a nice little makeshift, small, compact fishing kit. Boat matches inside this thing. That's what I would do. Uh, if you just want to have a whistle, you feel safe having a whistle, there you go. But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share that. These are my thoughts and ideas. And um, uh, thank you guys and gals for watching. Thank you guys and gals for your thoughts and prayers today as well. I appreciate it. God bless you guys, and take care.